Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, July 14th. <laughs> you can probably see Freya's uh, head in the corner. She's trying to get my tweezers. <laughs> she wants to play, and I would rather that she didn't. Um, Spirit, <laughs> July 14th, Spirit, please show me. Okay, July 14th. Wow, it says, hold your vision, fixed moon. Let's go ahead and read that. Hold your vision. It says... There are two main possibilities with this card. The first is that you need to stand firm in whatever situation you're in. The second, very different interpretation, is that something is stuck. That could well be referring to the situation you're asking about. If that's the case, have a think about what you can do to grease the wheels so that events can move forward. Are you being stubborn? If so, that's great because if you really want things to change, there's a solution. Stop digging your heels in. Be the one to break a deadlock. With two interpretations for this card, it's up to you to decide what's going on and which meaning applies to you. This offers up a chance for some self-reflection. So it says you just say the word and a lot, uh, a word a lot and see how it feels. Or it says yes, just say the word a, a lot and see how it feels. Staying power Faith or patience are needed. Someone needs to back down, avoid stagnation. A personal or professional relationship will be endearing. In astrology, there are three quadruplicities, cardinal, fixed, and mutable. The fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. The fixed signs can be stubborn, so anything that just starts as you draw this card may well last longer. Remember, we each have all the star signs in our chart. It's just the way the astrological wheel works. So there's no judgment. And when we say that while it's admirable how much staying power the fixed signs have, they can also be, an, be obstinate. So try not to get too fixed in your way or, you know, in a way of thinking, maybe there's something that is like stuck right now and maybe it's time for you to go out and, you know, ask spirit, just sit down and, you know, close your eyes for a minute and just relax and breathe into the situation and then ask spirit, okay, what is it that I can do that can change this situation? And then go out and do your thing. And then all of a sudden, just magically, like out of nowhere, you're going to down Download some information on how you can actually maneuver this so that you're not getting stuck. Maybe it's a phone call that needs to be made that maybe you didn't think of before. Uh, you know, some type of a conversation that needs to be had with another person in order to get the ball rolling to move things forward, okay? So keep that in mind, whatever this is. Hold your vision. You know, try not to... I, 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 if you watched yesterday's video, if you have not, yesterday's video was absolutely amazing about Mars and Venus, um, you know, meeting together in the sky. This is the divine masculine, divine feminine. This is the sperm, the egg. And it was, you know, this, this week, you know, is about keeping your thoughts as positive as you can, hold your vision, know that whatever is meant for you will never pass you by. It's already got your name on it and everything's going to work out exactly as it should. Okay. So spirit, please keep, let's look at July 14th. What message is it? Holding your vision. Why hold your vision? What are we talking about when it comes to holding your vision for July 4th? Wow. Okay. We got a few cards that just popped out, but I'm only going to take the one that was face up, which is the garden of the gate. Wow. Okay. So this is about a, she can either keep herself stuck right where she is. See how she's got the key around her neck. And so she has the key to the lock of that gate. So she can either a stay where she is or use that key to move forward. And I did say communication. We do have the number 30 here, which breaks down into a three, which connects to Gemini. Gemini is all about communication. We've been in Gemini season for quite some time. Mercury just moved out of Gemini. So um, into Cancer. And so I feel like this is, you know, not holding back. 
um, you know, hold your vision. And I like how, you know, we've got hold your vision here and look at her. She's just standing there looking out upon the horizon, right? Sorry about the glare, you guys. I'll have to figure out something else to do for that. But in the meantime, bear with me. You're still getting your messages. Um, it, but look, you know, you look at the garden around her and it's so plush and beautiful. So, I'm going to go ahead and read the meaning out of the book, number 30. All right. And it says, this card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautifully blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the, key, while the, while the girl wears a key on a chain around her neck. This card bodes well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money and other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. But beware, the choice to stay in the seeming security of this lovely garden may actually be motivated by habit or fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from loving or living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective, and gain the world that is just outside your gate. So, you know, being afraid and standing still, and, you know, when you have the key to unlocking your circumstances, I feel like if you could just hold your vision, you know, and then that's what that card talks about. It's saying that, you know, if, um, how do I want to say this, Spirit? Basically, with the hold your vision card and the garden and the gate is don't miss out on opportunities because of fear, false evidence appearing real. You may not be able to see the future, but you still have to be willing to step out in front of it. As I always say, you take one step towards the gods and they'll take 10 steps towards you. So keep that in mind as we move forward, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and find out what cards. Wow. Oh, wow. The strength card. Okay. So this is about having courage to move forward. If this is, you know, a purchase, you know, maybe it's a big purchase for some of you. It's a home for some of you. It's a car uh, for some of you. You know, it's, it's a relationship that you want to bring in. Um, you know, it could be a, a new business venture. It could be any one of those things, depending on who it is that I'm talking about. Um, you know, it's, I feel like pay attention to the birds too. For some of you, you have a lot of birds around. Maybe you need to feed the birds. Wow. Okay. Uh, all right. We just had two flip seven of swords and we've got the king of pentacles. Yeah. Wow. The overall energy is the moon. So I, we did get that yet. Yeah. Yesterday or the day before we got the moon and the moon hides things and what is it hiding? Oh my god, you guys This is a brand new opportunity of love passion um, Your cup runneth over I feel like new relationship You may not know where things are going right now, but you know what somebody here needs to have the courage to move forward For others of you, you know playing it safe is not the ideal uh, thing to do at this time uh, Seven of Swords is, you know, the liar, cheater, and thief, but it also is somebody who's lying to themselves. You know, the Seven of Swords is somebody who's getting away with something in broad daylight. For others of you, it is a home move, okay? Uh, Seven of Swords in the original, you know, meaning was, you know, getting out of Dodge in the middle of the day, is packing up and leaving some things behind. Um, you know, I do want to say that... Um, you know, with the moon here, I feel like really tuning into your psychic abilities. Um, we do have the fixed moon here. It talks about, so, you know, try not to be so fixed in your way. We do have the moon in Virgo, which is all about using your reality. Okay. Look at the reality of your situation. Pay attention to your dreams too, because I do feel like your dreams are telling you a lot. Um, you know, what you, where you're supposed to be, what you need to do. Um, and then we do have the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is somebody who is a business owner. It's an entrepreneur. Uh, they work well, you know, with, with their finances, investments, those types of things. So for some of you, you know, you're waiting on some type of an investment to see if things are going to come through. Um, 
we do have that full moon in Aquarius coming up. And Aquarius is, you know, ruled by the star. And the star is all about hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. So I do want to say that, you know, we do have two major arcanas with the strength card and the, um, which, you know, the strength card is Leo and Leo is the sun. So we have the sun and the moon here. Okay. We do have the yellow in the background. Uh, you know, for some of you, it's like you're, you're really trying to hold back, you know, you're holding back something. But do be careful with, you know, the moon and the seven of swords here. Be careful that someone isn't trying to get away with something. Okay. Um, I do want to say, you know, that that those two cards alone are deception. So again, you know, don't let your mind play tricks on you either. Okay. And with, because it's like, you'll do something. I feel like there's, you know, multiple people here who are like, okay, say for instance, you know, you're waiting on a loan. Okay. And but then, oh, this, you're telling yourself, this is never going to happen, you know, and you're letting your mind just play tricks. Oh, if I do this, you know, then what's the outcome? You know, I, I don't already see signs of it. So be, just because it's not there and you can't see it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Again, it takes time. That's what this card is talking about. It takes time. But I do want to say, you know, get out of your head. Um... The King of Pentacles is ready to, oh my God, I did talk about the star. Holy crap. So the King of Pentacles is somebody who wants an investment. Like they're all about their investments. Like they don't do something without uh, making sure that it's going to be a long-term investment. And I feel like this King of Pentacles here is ready to take a leap of faith in something. And what did I talk about earlier? The star. And the King of Pentacles is clarified by the, the tower the fool and the star. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Fool, star, tower. So uh, the king of pentacles is about ready to make a very big move. And I feel like, uh, he's ready to take a leap of faith into something. And it's, you know, these are his wishes coming true. And I feel like it just comes on so suddenly it's like an epiphany. It just, you know, falls and he's like, oh my God, I got it. So whether this is about a relationship, whether this is about, a, you know, a business partnership or starting a new business, I feel like it's like all of a sudden things are just going to start crumbling down around him. And for others of you, I feel like this is seriously an epiphany. Okay. So it's like I was talking about earlier when you just sit down and you say, okay, spirit, what do I need to do? And then all of a sudden spirits like later on you get this download. That's the sudden epiphany. Okay. Uh, I do feel like there is some type of healing here as well. Um, you know, I am going to say with the seven of pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like it's because there is some worry, some doubt, um, you know, but I do feel, you know, like juggling too many things, you know, am I going to be able to, you know, pay, do I, am I ever going to, you know, be able to pay for the things that I need to pay for? Am I always going to be juggling my finances? You know, I feel like being off balance, uh, you know, doing some type of needy, the traveling of the mind, but coming, you know, it is still choppy waters here, but coming into more peaceful waters. And I do feel like there is a final decision that needs to be made with the judgment card. And I feel like, you know, for some of you, this is some type of a reconciliation. Um, but for others of you, there could be something to do with, I'm getting court here too with the judgment card. Um, what is the strength card here for? The Ten of Swords. Yeah, the Sun and the Page of Pentacles. So yeah. There is some type of ending here when it comes to the strengths card. And I feel like it was a very, very painful ending. But there's hope. There's optimism. There's happiness. There is a great deal for success here as well. And I do feel like there is some type of a brand new offer that can be coming in in the morning. Uh, you know, and it could be, you know, whether that's you going back to school for some of you. 
Um, I feel like, you know, things are about to change. Yeah, you have no clue. Oh my God, you guys, I just clarified the moon. Okay, and look at this. Underneath the moon is the two of cups. So whatever partnership and the ace of wands and the ace of cups. So with <laughs> when I clarify the moon, what you guys do not see coming is there is, you have been manifesting some type of a commitment uh, whether I said earlier, this could be a loan, it could be any one of those things. And whatever this is, it's destined to happen. And I feel like the moon is what is bringing it in. So pay attention to the moon signs. Like I said, this is the Virgo new, or I mean Virgo moon right now that we've been in yesterday and today. And this talks about, you know, being realistic, you know, your service to humanity. This is about, you know, tending to the details all of those things. Uh, like I said, too, we do have that full moon in Aquarius coming up, which is all about, you know, um, manifesting your hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true, health, um, you know, all of those things. But you guys, these are not small potatoes. When I look at how many uh, major arcanas are in this reading, we've got the moon, we've got the, you know, magician, the hierophant, the uh, wheel of fortune, holy crap, the sun, which is the happiest card in the deck, judgment, which is, you know, being blessed by the angels, some type of a reconciliation between you and somebody, the full card, somebody getting ready to take a leap of faith into their hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. And it's going to come in just like that. I feel like things are really starting to speed up right now. Manifestations are like really like on point and it's like, you know, hold your vision for what you want. Make sure that you are not stopping yourself. You know that you, you know, things Things, if they're moving in, you know, ask spirit, can you slow them down a little bit so that I can, you know, really process what's happening and then, you know, stand back and let things happen as they will. Spirit, please show me their love life for July 14th. What messages, what guidance? Ah, I've got the chills with this reading, you guys. This is very powerful. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. So, and you know, when I see the Hierophant here as well, you know, maybe, you know, for some of you who are wanting a relationship, you know, maybe you have different belief systems. Um, but I do feel like they work well with one another. And I feel like, you know, somebody here, you know, sees you as worth waiting for. They see you as somebody who is magical, somebody that is, this is going to be a higher level of commitment. And yeah, maybe you guys, you know, maybe it's not even religious beliefs. Maybe it has something to do with, you come from two different backgrounds, uh, two different cultures. Uh, one was raised on one side of the tracks while the other one was raised on the other, you know, uh, it could be any one of those things. So I feel like it's, there, there's a difference between you and another person, but it works. You know, you have a lot to teach each other about, you know, making each other happy commitments, um, now we have the sun and the mood, which is the, you know, the masculine and the feminine energy. And I feel like you're overcoming pain and obstacles from the past. And I feel like this is something that can definitely be brought together and last the test of time, especially when I see the hierophant, the magician, you know, the fool, like to take that leap of faith playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, you know, being mindful about, you know, being playful, making sure that you court one another, um, you know, have fun, swing together, any one of those things. Wow. That is so funny. I just moved into a house and it has that exact swing. So I hope this pertains to me too. Um, but I don't feel like this is a reading that is just for today. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this is a reading that's going to last like it's going to spread out. So I would say like, you know, come back and listen to this reading in the future. And I feel like, you know, let me know in the, in the description box, how things are going and how this is playing out for you. Spirit, please show me. I do feel like there's a lot of emotion, you know, between you and another person. And maybe this person is holding back and they're not quite telling you just yet how they feel about you. All right. So next card out. Yeah, yeah we've got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay. And that could be some type of sudden information that's coming in. Maybe this person, you know, has to go to a distance 
or the fact of the matter is you guys are separated at this time. It does not have to mean anything bad, but I feel like this King of Pentacles is wanting to overcome separation. Um, I feel like, you know, there is some type of a conversation, heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with one another. And I feel like really truly listening to one another as well. For some of you, you could be having heart to heart conversations with this individual in your dreams. Okay. Talking to, to one another through dream state is very, um, uh, it's very relevant in this reading. So, and I do feel like you're definitely dealing with some type of a soulmate twin flame. I do feel like divine masculine and feminine energy is here very, very strongly when I see these two together. Okay. So I feel like, you know, someone, you guys are longing for one another. I feel like, you know, just being honest with one another about your feelings, you know, having those conversations, uh, you know, yeah, you're probably still going to be in separation, especially, you know, if you're not with this person, but, um, I do feel like, uh, you know, there, maybe this person, you know, this King of Pentacles has a sudden epiphany that, you know what, I no longer want to be in separation. I actually do want this closeness. So they decide they want to travel to you. Uh, I feel like, I almost feel like it's like separation in reverse when I look at, you know, the, the fool card with the, you know, the star and the tower that could also be sexual energy, you guys. And this person like wanting to maybe come and spend the night, um, for some of you, uh, like I, that's a little off kilter for the King of Pentacles, but I do see the, um, tower card as um, a sexual innuendo as well. So just so you know, and I'm not going to go any further into that. Um, I'm blushing. So <laughs> for others of you, this could be, you know, maybe you and a, you know, you and your loved one are having a heart to heart conversation. And, you know, I feel like maybe you guys have a different beliefs in something. And maybe later on in the evening, you know, you get a, he, your significant other gets a phone call that they have to go into work. Okay. And, uh, you guys are separated for the night because they have to do some type of training or whatever it is, you know, fill in the blank. If that applies, it's only going to apply to maybe one or two of you. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on spirit. Please show me for the singles. What messages do we have for singles? For, oh, wow. Okay. Well, we got a few cards, singles. All right. So close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in, okay? So again, it goes back to what I was saying earlier. Close your eyes and go within. And the next card out is forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And you know, that's what I'm talking about. Hold your vision. You know, don't let your mind play tricks on you and keep you separate from this divine union. Uh, and the next card out, get this, you guys, is sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And I did say some type of sexual energy here. Okay. So if you catch my drift, you guys, um, maybe this ends up happening unexpectedly. You know, this person comes by, they want to help you work on something. And then next thing you know, uh, <laughs> all your dreams come true. Uh, congratulations to those of you that we're talking about you. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, and for the couples, uh, hopefully for the couples, um, it can get pretty steamy. And maybe, like I said, you guys don't see this coming and you're like, oh, that's not for me. Next thing you know, you get a phone call like, hey, you know, what can I do for you? Uh, for couples, it says a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay. So for those of you couples, um, I, you know, if you guys were separated, you know, because they had to be at work, they're telling you, I'm thinking of you. Okay. So keep your thoughts positive. Don't look at this as a bummer situation. Just look at it as a time to really, you know, get back to the love that you feel with this person not around so that you can cherish them when they are, you know, all too often we take our love relationships for granted. Um, you know, and for, and it's like, then there's those of us who have been single for many, many years and, you know, we wish 
that what we had what you have, you know, but you know, people take it for granted. You know, I've watched many couples and I'm like, wow, that's crazy to me. Like you guys could be working together for the same common goal and your manifestations would be that much more powerful if you guys were actually, you know, when you make love, you guys, you know, have a focus in mind of what it is that you'd like to birth into existence. And that power is so, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's like taking a, you know, a, a, a a thousand watt light bulb and another thousand watt white, oh, excuse me, watt light bulb, and you bring them to, to the two together. It's not two thousand watts. When you bring your power together as a divine masculine and a divine feminine, and you bring that power, it's like three billion watts, not a thousand billion. Okay, so you keep that in mind, you know, as we move forward with our relationships. And there it is, some more sexy time. So what does it say? Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. I do feel this is a very uh, auspicious day for a lot of passion, uh, unexpected um, <laughs> rendezvous. <clears throat> um, good for you guys. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I think that this is something that can very well last the test of time. I don't, I feel like this uh, king of pentacles, if you're wondering if this person is somebody who, you know, just is, you know, here one minute and gone the next. No, the king of pentacles is somebody who is going to plant that seed of intention. Uh, be mindful if you don't want to get pregnant, you guys, I would say wrap it up because the king of pentacles does have the seed in his hand. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, anyway, you guys, uh, wow, this is a really beautiful reading. Uh, I'm going to read the bottom for both of you guys. It says manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. What did we talk about? Manifesting miracles. Put your uh, dreams out there. Put your wishes out there. You know, tell spirit what it is that your guys are wanting and then hold your vision. Do not, do not, and I repeat, do not stand in the way of all your blessings coming true. Anyway, you guys, uh, have the conversations that need to be had. Um, talk to your partner. You know, if there's somebody out there that you are pining over, tell them, you know, let them know uh, where they they stand with you and what it is that you want because um, you guys could really set the bar for something that could last the test of time. Anyway, you guys, I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is down below. Um, like, share, and subscribe. You guys know I appreciate it and we will chat again tomorrow. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, you guys, and take care.